Welcome to Slutty Penguins, I'm Z, and today on a very special episode, I'm going to talk about the uh, originator of powered flight. So, I grew up here, I, for reference, I live in America. So I grew up in America, and that means I went to American public school, as many of us had done. In school, we are taught history, we have to go to history class, but the history we're taught, it's, it's a little... It's interesting to say the least, right? Uh, the, I guess the adage is the winners write the history books. And nothing is truer than an American, uh, American history classes in the grade school, middle school level. When you get out of high, uh, early school and go to college, then you find out the actual history, what actually happened. So a perfect example, we we all globally everyone else knows kids have to grow up here and go to college to find this out uh christopher columbus is a perfect example of this christopher columbus of course when you're young you're told christopher columbus discovered america and helped the native peoples what we find out happened is that columbus stumbled upon america and committed genocide of the native populace, which is not the same thing at all. But again, it's that it's that uh, winners write the history books. So today, talking about the originator of powered flight. Well, in our history books in America, we are taught that the originator of powered flight, well, originators, are the right brother, the right brothers, uh, Orville and Wilbur Wright, they flew their Wright Flyer at Kitty Hawk in 1903, in December in 1903. And it was powered, and it flew, and we have video of that. But remember, video doesn't necessarily tell the whole story, right? It doesn't, it doesn't tell the, the full story. Uh, turns out, they were not the originators of powered flight. And that's a fact. Facts don't need sources because they are facts. They were not the originators of powered flight. Nope. And uh, neither was Gustav Whitehead and neither was Alberto Santos Dumont. Nope. Not even Da Vinci. Not even Da Vinci with his, with his uh, winged flyer. Flapping motion. Powered. Human powered. Powered. No, not even him. Nope. The, the travesty here is that it's another originator that time forgot. The originators of powered flight were the Egyptians. The Egyptians were the originators. Uh, what, what they had going was really ingenious and was an end run around the whole powered flight thing. What they did is they took uh, they it, it basically wove chainmail chainmail shirts chainmail bodysuit and then uh, sewed uh, trigger warning animal abuse they sewed scarab beetles uh, 150 to 200 scarab beetles onto this armor suit scarab beetles incredibly strong flyers but kind of nibbly, so they needed the metal so they didn't chew through and chew you. So now you had a suit that, that had some lift to it. All those strong flyers attached to you had some lift to it. They doubled down on the whole thing. The pyramids, these giant pyramids, we were told, well, they're tombs. They're not tombs. The the people down at the, at the bottom, all, the, all these people buried, they're not tombs those are the places where all the people that were testing this technology ended up 
right? You jump off a tall building, you end up, <laughs> jump off the pyramid, you end up at the bottom of the pyramid. It's not a burial site, it's a testing ground. The, the pyramids get hot. They bake in the sun. And all of that heat energy gives you massive thermals, up updrafts, and with your, with your uh, flight suit, flight suit, Go up to the top of the pyramid, jump off, and the scarab beetles, of course, self-preservation kicks in, so they start flapping like mad, and the updraft, and it shoots shoots you off to it shoots you off to a really decent height. At that point, you can you can fly all over the Nile Valley. Now, now you'd say Z. Where are you hearing this? This is wrong. This isn't in any, any history book. Well, as we all know, a good solid holy war will erase all sorts of useful inventions and all sorts of useful thoughts and ideas. And uh, that's exactly what happened with Egypt. Most of their, most of their uh, revolutionary ideas were destroyed as part of holy wars. And remember, these are the inventors of the lead-acid battery. They made Duracells thousands of years ago, right? So, so a good solid holy war erases and sets us back a couple thousand years. We could have been using scarab beetles today to fly off of things. Instead, we have airline carriers packing us in like cattle and beating us when we don't uh, when we don't uh, follow the corporate rules so there you have it the originators of powered flight the egyptians and their flight suit